Okay guys, I've seen a lot of videos um, about charging your batteries from an external AC source with your um, battery charger. And I wanted to see if you could run a battery charger off of your inverter to repower your batteries off of the same power source to make a continuous loop, almost like a perpetual motion machine. Um, what I have here is two heavy duty deep cycle equipment batteries and then I've got a 5000 watt power inverter from Harbor Freight and I've got the just your standard farm battery charger so right now I currently have the inverter off and the uh, battery charger is connected but no power is being supplied to it other than what it's currently drawing off the batteries because the clamps are already on for the video um, currently off of our batteries oh we're only putting out 12.2 volts um, with you know that's what they're rated for what's optimal for your RV is usually a uh, you want to keep it right at about 13 just to keep your ACs and your heaters going um, so trying to bump that up a little bit so what I found by doing this setup is I'll hold this up so y'all can see it so right now I'm reading 12.2 volts I'm going to I have my battery charger is off and I'm going to turn on my power inverter here And there's a slight drop initially of 0.2 volts from the power being drawn from your power inverter. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to reach down here and cycle through the different settings on my battery charger. Here, I'll set it up here for the time being. Hopefully, I don't blow stuff up. There we go. Don't try this home at home, or if you do and you hurt yourself, don't blame me. Um, so I'm going to cycle this over and I'm going to put it on a 12 volt 10 amp. And if you'll notice, we have another power, power drop off of the battery itself. And it says it's, you know, it's, it's on the low end of charging. It'll come up to 12 volt 30 amp. Bumps up a little bit, but then we have another voltage drop here. And if I put it all the way up to uh, the 12 volt 200 amp start it continues to drop even more because of the power that's being pulled off of it and it'll it'll continuously drop over time because you're not able to put out more power than you're consuming from your battery charger so it was a fun experiment something to check out it's just stuff I had laying around to try and put into the work uh, I read a lot of places online uh, just to kind of see if it would work uh, knowing that it probably wouldn't I found one guy that tried it and blew up his battery charger and then I found another guy that uh, said his friend in high school could do it because he had a 300 amp output and it was only taking in 200 amps on his uh, battery charger or something like that um, so cool fun experiment nice to know that it doesn't work but it was a cool idea in theory I saw that there was not a single video on YouTube of someone actually trying to do this just a bunch of people saying no might as well try it out what's the worst could happen you learn something new every day thanks guys